welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I am going to be doing this pink makeup look. As you can see, it's a super bright pink. I've been really loving pink, honestly. Like I got this bodysuit because it was pink and I also painted my nails pink recently and I've just been really, really inspired to do a neon pink eye look. I honestly really loved how it came out and it's honestly super easy. So if you want to see how I came up with this look, then just keep on watching. So my first step is always to tie my hair up just so it's out of the way while I do my makeup. And today I'm going to start with my eyes just because the palette that I'm using does have quite a bit of fallout. So I don't want that to affect my concealer or my foundation. So that's what we're doing. First, I'm going to start with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. And I'm just going to use this to prime my eyelids. Just to create an even base for my eyeshadow to go onto. Now that that concealer is all blended out, I'm just going to take some loose powder on my beauty blender and set that concealer. And the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Sephora Pro New Nudes Pigment Palette. And basically, I'm only going to be using two shades and they're actually inspired by my nails because I've recently been doing my nails at home and I was really happy with the color I chose. So. I'm going to be doing a pink eye makeup look today and as you can see it's a really really pretty palette it's got 24 shades honestly so dumb the row has seven shades and it's seven by four not six by four so it actually has 28 shades and not 24. you stupid and a really really big mirror so that's what i'm going to be using today even though i'm blind like i still have to hold it really close to my face because i literally cannot see so first I'm going to be starting off with the shade Bubblegum. It's right here. It's a really, really soft pink. And I'm going to blow it up above my crease. So not necessarily in my crease, but just above it. And I'm going to take this on a Morphe E27. See, look, it has a lot of fallout. Like, look at this fallout. It's literally insane. I don't really mind it, to be honest, but I just have to change up the order of my makeup. So I'm just going to take that above my crease. So I just finished one eye off camera so I could actually see if I knew what I was doing. This is the look that I came up with. I am honestly in love with it. Now we're going to go in with this one other color. It looks like a lot of work but it honestly was just one shade that I blended out all over the lid. So that shade is Tulip and Magenta in the Sephora Pro palette. So now that I just picked that up on my Morphe M433, I'm going to just... Oh, this is so awkward. Okay. I'm going to place it right on my lid but not too high because I do have to blend it out. I'm holding the brush really close to the bristles just so I have more control. When you're out like this, then you can like blend out and you have less precision, but when you hold it closer, you have more precision. So I'm just gently placing that down. And once I have less pigment on the brush, I'm gonna blend it up into my crease. I listen to the songs, I'm like, who this is? Once you're happy with the shadow that you just packed down, you're just gonna go in with the same brush, a fluffy one, and you're gonna blend out those edges very, very carefully first. Now to put this look all together, I'm just going to put in my inner corner highlight and my brow bow in highlight and I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance um, shade in Vroom, from here. Why can't I read? And I'm going to take it on my pinky and then I'm going to blend it out with a pencil brush. So I actually put on quite a bit, but obviously we're going to blend that out. I actually just blend it into the pink eyeshadow itself. I'm just trying to get the shimmer to be 
even on both sides on both my eyes no. And to just finish off the eyes, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara. Once I'm happy with the curls on my lashes, I'm just going to go in straight to mascara. And I'm going to be tilting my head back just so my lashes don't hit my eyeshadow, which I literally just did. For this bold of a look, I would usually do lashes just to complete it, but I still don't have lash glue because I'm irresponsible and I never remember to buy any. So I'm also doing my bottom lashes. So that is the completed eyeshadow look. And I was honestly just inspired by like, what is it, hot girl, city girl, summer. And it's basically just like doing your own thing, I guess. And obviously like my whole face isn't done yet, so I kind of look stupid, but I'm gonna do that really quickly right now. Is this silence a chain for me to say I'm sorry? Or are you tired about commotion, you talent queen? Don't you remember all those moments where that guy you smell like roses as you leaned into my body in that party? And all we got is all the distance, all the patience, all the passion loss, all the waiting, all the questions, butterflies they gone. And truth be told, I still want you. I'm lost without you So I just gotta let you know under my eye just because I have shadow there and I'm going to blend it upwards. Now that that's all in place, I'm just going to set it with powder. And with whatever's left in the lid, I'm just going to take on a big fluffy brush and set the rest of my face. The thing I like about using a radiant primer and foundation is so even when you set your makeup with powder, that shine and natural glow doesn't really go away. I'm gonna take some hula bronzer on an angle brush and just really chisel out my cheekbones. And finally, my favorite step, which is highlighter. I'm using the ABH Glow Kit and I'm using these two shades, Moonstone and Summer. Wow. I'm just loading that up on a fan brush and hitting the high points of my cheeks. Ugh, oh, I love highlighter. I'm hitting my nose really gently and my cupid bill. And this time to change it up, I'm using this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. I personally hate plumping glosses because it's just 
pain for literally no reason but I just picked it up because it was six dollars and then I didn't read it until I got home and I was like great so guys that is the end of the video I just got this bodysuit from Aritzia and I'm also going to be doing a huge summer try on haul I don't know which video is going to go up first it might be this one and then my try on haul where this came from will be in that video so if you guys want to see like what I got you guys can check out that video later but I'm just like really in love with this makeup look because I've been loving pink as you can see this bodysuit is bright pink my nails are bright pink and this, and this eyeshadow is just so bright so I'm just fucking pink galore thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next video